Welcome back to Great Day. Our next guest has never forgotten how his mom struggled to provide Christmas gifts under the tree. Today, he's giving back through the gospel of hip hop. Here with us is rap artist Corey Paul and Dwan Banks with Bless a Belly. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Wow. Before we get to some hip hop music right here, okay. I want to get to your testimony because it is so powerful. We know that there are people watching right now who are going through it right. and don't know how they're going to get to the other side of it. Right. But you, from the get go, were mm -hmm. born into a tough situation. Right. 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 Yeah. So. Uh, I grew up in South Park, Houston. Um, at that time, statistics showed it was like a 35, 40 percent of the residents didn't have high school diplomas. Um, never really knew my father, my biological father. Uh, I was raised by my stepfather and my mother. My mother's an amazing woman. Yeah, but that um, was a tumultuous relationship. Yeah, yeah. So you know, she did the best she could. Um, but my father was uh, a drug addict, hooked on crack cocaine. So. From the time I was five, six years old, you know, I saw a lot of violence, a lot of abuse. Um, some of my mom beat up, drug through the house, just insane. Because what did that make you feel like as a child? Because I would, I would think that you feel unsafe and you mm -hmm. feel chaotic inside too. Right. Well, yeah. And then you also feel that it's you think it's normal. Mm -hmm. You just start to think that this is life like this is what happens yeah. so I remember you know you feel scared but then after a while you're like I guess this is just life yeah and especially when you see it in maybe other families around you too yeah you yeah it's not like you know growing up where I'm from it's not like we were the only people struggling so right. it starts to become uh, just a normalcy yeah right but then you even have those things that do shock you like so it was very bad then when I was about um, when I was about seven and it got so bad, my dad would always come in, kick in the door, beat my mom up, take you stuff. You see the addiction and all show up in several other things. You see it, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and so my mom feared so much for her life um, that she actually, uh, she actually shot my dad, mm -hmm. right? And so being a kid and experiencing and seeing all of that, you think that, um, like, this is insane, right? Yeah. Um, and, yeah, uh, at the same time that part of you is going, this is the way it just is, this, another part of you is saying, this can't be the way it just is. Right, you're building it, right? And uh, to the point where, you know, my dad didn't beat his addiction. Um, mm -hmm. His addiction beat him, and when um, I was nine, he actually uh, died to a drug overdose. Yeah. Wow. Um, so, uh, well, the drugs pushed him um, to actually... Um, he saw to, his way out. To was his almost, way out, was, yeah, was, was yeah. Suicide. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah definitely. Death, death through suicide, suicide was his yeah. way out. Uh, Dwan, just you were kind of nodding your head at yes. a couple of things he was saying because yes, you had your struggles as well. Yes, yes, and I had no idea about Corey's situation and his mom. I didn't know my dad. My mom died when I was four but she was murdered by her boyfriend so to hear him say that like the domestic violence is kind of it's hitting right now because yeah. yeah she was murdered by her boyfriend and I've dealt with domestic situations too so you thinking like since being a child of that why would you you know put yourself or stay in a situation that's not well so it's kind of taking me back to hearing well, it is like hard too that. because a lot of yeah. times we see people repeat the cycle mm -hmm. yeah. and then there are people who get so far away from the cycle and what you both have done because of your hardship you have charitable hearts right. all right so what got you out right so um, so it got me out is through all of that, through all of the struggle, my mother was a strong, amazing woman. Yeah. And, and, and here's did, a great point here. Even though stuff is crazy even, around you, when that parent is still a parent. She yes. still did the best she could. Yeah. She still, um, you know, as we got older, she owned her mistakes, you know, and uh, she let us know that she knew that it wasn't um, ideal. And so I still had her love in the midst of this craziness. And you still had love for her. And I still had love for her. So. Yeah. You know, it's like you're saying, even though no matter what, you know, if there's any parents going through things right now thinking that it's just this death, know that by loving your child, yeah. you know, they're still going to feel that in the midst of the darkness. A lot of uh, people in the inner city, we saw this big explosion of rap music, you know, in the, in the late 80s and 90s. Right. A lot of them found their way off the streets through rap music. Right. through yes. rap. Yeah, and you have taken that a little step further. It's it's gospel rap music. Now, right. in the beginning, some people go, I don't know, that's not what the church music right. is. But, right. but right. the right. point right. is, it's, I remember Kirk Franklin saying years ago when he first uh, came out, he was like, it doesn't matter what the style of music is, yes. it's what message you are delivering. Right. So right. how did you start to do to rap music? Into, and, yeah. yeah, so... 
started rapping when I was young as an emotional outlet, right? Um, and then, so I wanted to be a rapper. When I was 17, it's always a girl, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> it's always a girl. So I met my then girlfriend. She was a believer. My best friend started going to church. And so I was basically trying to improve my Bible knowledge to impress her and have <laughs> stuff to talk thing. about on the phone, right? But in the midst of me doing that, God actually sh grabbed me, yeah. right? You and started reading the word just actually, so you could be like, you know, and then, in yeah, the and mix, then, right? Yeah. And then God actually grabbed me. And so then you know I started to get your attention. Right, yeah, yeah. Right. right. And Dawn, and, how did you come to know? Jesus. My aunt who raised me, um, who took me in, she was a praying woman. How, you, how they say, I had a praying grandma? Yeah, um, I had yeah. a praying auntie. So she took me to church every Sunday, whether I wanted to go or not. I was at church. I was in the choir stand. I know all the devotions. So that's how I came. You know, <laughs> Sister Jenkins and her soccer to me cake. All you know, all that stuff, right? <laughs> Dick and Earl and all of that. All right, so it kind of went from trauma to testimony. Trauma to testimony. And so the, mu the, the music that we do, is, it, the music that we do, it's the principles of the Bible. It's mm -hmm. what the Lord told us. It's what God tells us. But we do it in a way that it can be oh, understood in hip hop and it can be understood in the street. Yeah, right. you're also giving back through uh, Bless a Belly. I know you do a whole yes, lot of things, mm -hmm. music management, everything. But yes, what is Bless a Belly? It's how you two met, actually. Yes. yes. Yeah. Bless a Belly is a nonprofit organization. It is my baby. It's a, um, we feed the homeless. That's one of our goals. Our, our goal is to just make sure that the underserved are not forgotten. We help the needy also, not just the homeless. We have like initiatives that we try to do throughout the year just to give back yeah. to the community and those that are in need. And you talked about when you were out there, it was so cool because it wasn't like mm. you were just standing in line and saying, here, take your stuff and right. go away. No. You mixed with them like they were family yeah. members. If you would have walked in, you just thought it was a big a, family a big, big family reunion, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And then again, going back to your childhood, going back to your childhood, mm -hmm. how important that is that the rest of the community wraps their arms around Definitely. people who are struggling. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Cause I remember those, you know, Christmas was horrible for us, you know, so mm -hmm. I remember my, you know, friends of the family, black, white, Hispanic, all, all type of people yeah. pulling together to yeah. help. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And again, the, 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 for a child to understand that a stranger cares, how powerful mm -hmm. that is. It's very powerful because I didn't even know this. My cousin was there yesterday helping and he was saying, this was me. I was the child that was lined up at the church getting me. So this means a lot. And when they were leaving, they would just hug me like, thank you, thank you, thank you. So yeah. it, was, it was very emotional, but it makes what we do like well worth it. Yeah, right. absolutely. Yeah. All right. You can donate to Bless a Belly through Facebook.com slash Bless a Belly or Instagram.com slash Bless a Belly. But here is hip hop artist Corey Paul now performing his song Top Rope. Great day, Houston. Let's go. DJ Overflow, you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with it, I'm with it. I'm with it, I'm with it. Let's get it, let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it. I'm with it, I'm with it. I'm with it, I'm with it. Let's get it, let's get it. This one off the top. 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 Off the whoop, this one off the whoop, top row, this one off the whoop, this one off the whoop, top row, this one off the whoop, this one off the whoop, top row, this one off the whoop, this one off the top row, by four feet in the air, keep the vertical, probably could have hooped for the rockets. Me and my homies broke the mold out of town on the road at the show, got the whole stage rocking. When the thing jumping, we don't plan, don't land it. Macho man, when the mic get handy, rip it to the beat, beast, savage, if it from bass. Let me tell you what it's about. I didn't hit the A gap, cause I got it up the block. Malapana got locked, Malapana got shot, Malapana dropped out, Malapana got popped. In the hood, they don't think I'm concerned with the black. Faith in the coke, whip it in pipe. Then we got lies on my barrel, you black. Climbing the rope, they coming straight off the top. I'm with it, I'm with it, I'm with it, I'm with it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. I'm with it, I'm with it, I'm with it, I'm with it. Let's get it, let's get it. This one off the top, this one off the top. Michael Irvin, Scotty, and you wing. Seen nothing like it, but you're tight. 
with the right knee and wrote it with the right knee. I'm with it, I'm with it. I'm with it, I'm with it. Let's get it, let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it. I'm with it, I'm with it. I'm with it, I'm with it. Let's get it, let's get it. This one off the top. This one off the top. Overflow, let's go. This one off the top. This one off the top. Top, top, roll. This one off the top. This one off the top. Top, roll. This one off the top. This one off the top. Top, roll. This one off the top. This one off the top. Top, roll. This one off the top. This one off the top. Top, roll. Great day, Houston.